Yo, what is up guys? This is Weeper back with another banger video. Today, we're going to talk about grand challenges and how easy they are in 2023. Um, so I've been grinding my alt account right now. Uh, we pushed up to 209th in the world. I do not even have like a fully maxed deck. Like I'm using level 12 recruits and a level 10 magic archer. And basically what I've been doing is I've been... I don't even get to that right now. Grinding grand challenges. You can see right here, 12 win, 12 win, 12 win, 12 win. And we're going to another chest rail challenge because I got bored and I wanted to record this video. So now we're back in another GC where we are 8 wins and 0 losses. And I, guys want, I just want to talk to you guys about um, how easy these GCs have been. And I don't know if I... Because I just got really good. Or have GCs gotten easier over the years? And I'm going to be talking to you guys about that. Because with evolutions, I think every evolution except for recruits are in GCs or not. I don't know why recruits are not in GCs. That's kind of dumb. But basically what is happening is uh, it's just it's just easy. It's very easy. And like I'm going over this right now. And basically it's just free wins. It's been free wins for the past like 5, 10 GCs. And I just want to talk to you guys about... Where you should be investing your gold and your gems if you guys want to get a max account. And I honestly think GCs is the way to go. So I'll, once we can do a game, <laughs> I will uh, I'll skip to that. All right, into the first game versus Africa. I blessed the rains down in Africa, if you know what I mean. Um, so our starting hand is we got barbs. We got a bunch of fireball bait. Um, I don't know what he's running, so I don't really want to split my barbs right now. But I will because you know what? He didn't play a card in the first couple seconds. So that means it's usually not hog or anything like that. And... Yeah, like, see, like, he already leaked one elixir. Like, I don't know. And this guy doesn't have the pass, so you know he doesn't have evos. Like, he shouldn't. And, yeah. We play this here. See if we can get anything going. Is it going to be 2.6 again? Because I just faced 2.6. It very well could be 2.6 again. Player Goblin Giant here. It could be some weird expo deck as well. Let's see if he's evo knight. Um... Valkyrie, I am gonna be honest, boys. I am very confused at what we are versus here. I'm gonna go main top of this, and so now we do have evil barbs. So we're actually kind of in a great position. Um, his deck's a little annoying though, with all that. Wait, his Evo? What? I was gonna wait here, see, uh, see what he does. So I think it is Expo with Evo skeletons, which is really weird. Um. Okay. We're back to uh, Goblin Giant because he goes Expo. That's not the play you should have gone for. I right, we defend easily. Um. Do I want to take this damage? I don't think I do. He has such a slow cycle as well. So this is fine for us. He's got to go E-Spirit. And we're, we got back to Fireball for when he pumps up again. He could have Rocket. He could have Fireball. We do not know yet. I'm thinking it's not... I mean, he might not even have anything since he has Pump, actually. Real talk. Uh, we're going to go Heal Spirit here. Split our barbs. Okay, that was interesting. Mm, decides not to pump anymore. He's gonna go his Evo skeletons. So we're gonna have to arrows this. We're gonna go for a barbs here. And go for a heal spirit as well. Cause yeah. And there we go. We're defending this. I'm gonna go barbs on top of this uh thing. And then we go here. He's doing an alright job keeping it alive. But like he's kind of delaying the inevitable. Because then we're going to go heal spirit. Oh, I could fireball that. I'm not going to. You're not going to activate king or anything. Alright, solid defense once again by me. Um, I don't know if he's... Like he goes random expos at the bridge. Which is kind of annoying. But you know what? Cannot control dumb. Uh, you go for your minions like this. And then heal spirit like this. And that's obviously an arrows if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh, the heal spirit. Oh my god, that was clutch. Uh, we're actually going to fireball all this because this is just value. If he pumps up, I don't really care. I actually missed. So we're actually going to let that lock. And go on top here. He's like, oh my god, he fireballed. What a mistake. Not really. Um, I don't think he has a big spell, so we're okay to play our Mother Witch in the back. 
That's a couple hits on tower. You messed up a little bit, buddy. All right, now we're gonna go here. See, he's gonna go expo again, obviously, because he's a player of Clash Royale. And then we kind of just do our little thing here, do our little dancey dance. And he shouldn't be able to actually like break through our onslaught, even with the uh, little advantage he's got from the pump. I still think we're in a great position. So yeah. So what we're just gonna do here? He's gonna go there. Let me just go here, here, there, bear, where, huh? That's right. This is, could get scary. So I want to get that off the board. Low key, that card's kind of terrifying. Look at all that damage you got on the left lane. We're we're, we're the best. That's all. That's in fireball range. Uh, but we don't need to win here. But we're going to. So we're just gonna fireball arrows and take the game. And yeah, guys, like I don't know, like. These games seem too easy. They just seem too easy. Like, I remember when I used to play GC, this used to be versus pros all the time. It was great practice. But now it just seems like I'm versus guys who, you know, like, yeah, this guy's an ultimate champion player. But what deck are you using? Why, don't you, why, don't, why aren't you using Evo Knight or Evo Barbs? Like, these guys just seem so lost in the meta, like lost in the sauce that these games that I'm playing aren't that challenging and you know what i'm gonna eat my own words and i'm gonna lose a game before i get 12 wins and i'll be like well shit there we go sweep talking out his ass again and gets absolutely destroyed yeah i'll hop in next you know what i spoke my words where's one hive hunter this guy used to be an amazing expo player back in the day um even a good rg player and but now i guess he just kind of sticks to gc's and stuff like that he had a brother as well if i remember correctly so we're just actually gonna do this it's not really a great play by him to be honest, if he has firecracker, which is arrows, if he goes log, we go heal spirit. He defends better than most players. I say that then he does that play. <laughs> we go here. If he goes off lane, we should just win. But yeah. His bomb tower because everyone has bomb tower. Such a broken card, but you know it, it is what it is when you play this game. You gotta deal with the broken cards. There we go. He might go with the bridge here, and I'm thinking, do I fireball or arrows? I'm thinking arrows. So we have barbs if he goes like night thing in the upside, even fireball for low on elixir. Hmm. Hmm. How to win this matchup? This, may, this matchup may not look bad, but it's, I'm gonna be honest. I think he's running fireball too, so this matchup is actually a lot worse than what it looks. So yeah. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill the fire! Here it comes. The moment we've all been waiting for. It might actually be Earthquake since he didn't fireball. I may have to rethink my game plan here. Okay, so we're gonna go in the back here. Then he's gonna try to punish me all out because he has this musketeer on the board. So I would do as a player. So now we're gonna take some damage here, and we're actually gonna like we should win off this. So we should win off this. He's gonna go goblins. No goblins. Wow, you're interesting. Okay. No goblins. It is then. Don't go hog, weirdo. That was actually such a bad hog. But it's gonna work out because he has all this shit. So 
so annoying. Can I fireball? Low key, <laughs> this is probably the safest play for me. That's two fireballs. Can I get two fireballs down? That's one fireball for me. Get one arrows down. That should be another fireball, I think. Or fireball's two of seven, I think, right? There we go. Fireball. And GG. GG. Super bad matchup, to be honest. If he played way better, I would have lost, but. He just never fireball at the start, and I kind of costed him. So that's one more win in the bag. Um, let's just get two more down real quickly. Show you guys how much of a king I am and how good I am with Goblin Giant. Sparky's actually horrible, though. I've been like testing around with shit on ladder, and like I realize that Sparky is so bad. Um, it just doesn't beat anything. Like Magic Archer destroys it. Like you just can't. They outcycle your fireball, and then Bomb Tower destroys it. Log bait destroys it. So every there's no good like Sparky's good in the beatdown, and there's no beatdown. I used to think it was good in the cycle. It's good in the one cycle deck, the one version with uh like bat like spear goblins and bats. But Mother Witch does a better job than you know Sparky, which is crazy to me. So we're just gonna go in the back here, take that deck. I, I had I really had nothing for my uh, let's get Evo Knight here. Uh, let's see what he's rocking with. This could be the, like, deck. Um, I don't think it's bats. If it's bats, we'd just win here, I think. No, because Bomb Tower is so broken. Oh, my lord. Hey, guys, that's Bomb Tower for you. It's it's so broken, Bomb Tower. Like, uh, if you guys don't see, they posted the work in progress balance changes. And if you guys did not vote Bomb Tower, oh my god, the card is insanely broken. Uh, we're actually just going to go Barbs here because I want to get to my Evo Barbs for when he has his Evo Knight. If that makes sense. Because he's going to play his Evo Knight now. And it's going to be up pretty soon. So, I'm okay with all this. If he really wants to go Miner here, I will go Dark Prince in the back. I think he's going to. And then we're going to go Heal Spirit here to hit all of it. I miss one, but one bat hit's not going to lose me this game. Um, then we're just going to go Abadar in the back and arrows because he's going to go wallbreakers behind us. Okay, I lied. He does not go wallbreakers behind. He goes wallbreakers to the bridge for some reason. This guy's, this guy's playing way too aggressive. So he's back to Evo Knight. So that's what we got to take into consideration. Um, I'm probably going to go with a fireball on offense here. Actually, no. I'm just going to go minions because that's really high. And it forces a poison out. And then... He shouldn't have anything for his, uh, really. You're going to defend like that. Okay, that's not the defense I would have gone for, if I'm being honest. I know what you're going to do, but it's going to lose you the game. Please. Yeah, look at him in the left lane. He went way too aggressive there. He's gonna do it again though. He's gonna be like, I, got, I gotta get damaged now because I just lost a whole bunch of. Oh my god, is that gonna kick my tower? It shouldn't. Cause I'm gonna use that to body block it. We're gonna fireball this. I knew he was gonna do that. That's why I didn't play anything. Let me just go arrows here for some damage. Then he's gonna go bats with this. He goes bats in the back, okay. It's fine by me. Log. Some damage. 
It's one fireball. One fireball away. And then I could easily defend here. I'll even arrows on uh, defense. Right here. Get the arrows in. And now we're back to one fireball. And that's GG, boys. Fireball here because it's the uh, lowest travel time. And one game away. Um, like, Sparky there is not good because they could go minor wall breakers up the lane. And you just... If they log or prediction minor like your mini packa and stuff like that, they're gonna get a connection, and that's just what really sucks. And if you use your spell on defense, you nothing for offense, and then they just defend because bomb tower is broken. Because bomb tower is broken. Ignore me drinking my slurp juice. Um, yeah. All right, one more game, and then yeah, we're gonna end this video off on a absolute W win. Um, comment down below what deck you guys use for like grand challenges stuff if you've made it this far through the video comment down below what decks you use got you guys use for grand challenges i like my beatdown like i think barbs and knight if you're not using barbs and knight in gcs what are you doing come on they're, they're free wins they're actually insanely broken and you could easily win any grand challenge even if you're a new player like i've i've lost the people because i've accidentally overcommitted, and they just went evil barbs at the bridge with like a heal spirit i can't defend it i had like i had like knight spear goblins like, even if I have, like, Elixir, sometimes you just can't defend if they go Evo Barbs of the Bridge with a Rage. And you're just like, oh, I'm fucked, you know? Shit. <laughs> but, yeah, so, if you guys are going to try out decks for, like, this yourselves, I'd go for, like, Evo Barbs decks, like the Bridge Fam one, or Knight decks. Because Knight's broken, too, if players don't know how to respond with it. The only good response to Evo Knight are Evo Recruits and Evo Barbs. And, oh, top ladder player, our hat with his uh well, this is interesting this guy runs this guy runs uh 3m with uh golem the key to winning beating this player is to not hit his pump with your fireball that's what i've learned what I've learned. He's gonna go with Skarmy. He goes Pump, I go Dark Prince, and I just do a little push here and win the game. I'm just gonna go Dark Prince here now to bait out his uh, barbs. Cause he's nothing. If you go over commits here, I just fireball it all. And I don't care if he pumps. Okay, that's not the play. Go golem, you lose. I think you still lose here. Should play my mother on the right though. To be honest, I could just heal spirit this back. And yeah, we take a bit of damage, but uh You wanted to bit out my thingy. I'm telling you guys we got this game in the books. I'm not stressed. He, he wants, he's going to keep doing that because he wants me to fireball it, if that makes sense. But I'm not going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fireball your fucking 3M. You right here? All that shit's getting fireballed, my guy. Like, you keep pumping, expecting something to happen, and it's never going to happen. I'm just going to wait and see what he does here. I expect him to go Golem at the bridge, but he's not. See, if you never fireball versus guy, you just win. Always got to go in with a game plan when you know what the opponent's running. Always got to have a game plan. And he's going to go Minion Heart at the bridge there, and I probably would just go on for the 3 crown. <laughs> Genius brain. And yeah, guys, like, I think... Either the skill level for GCs, there's just no good players playing in it. 
as I say, like the, the X number one player in the world was playing it. But you see the fucking deck he was using, Golden Three and Pump. Like these are these are decks you guys should be able to beat if you guys are know if you guys know what you're doing. But yeah, guys, um, seriously, hop into some GCs right now. I I personally think they're free wins. I've gone twelve wins in my past, like seven, eight, honestly ten GCs at this point. I think they're super easy. I think the skill gap has gone significantly down since Evos have came out. And anyway, guys, I just want to show you guys a demonstration of how easy GCs are. And I'll see you guys in the next banger video. I'm going to be talking about the balance changes and how I max kind of pushed my alt account to top turn ladder and how you guys could do it too. So yeah, guys, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys thought of this video. I'll see you guys in the next banger video. Bye-bye.